powering up your paper plane is fun. That was a power up 3.0 invader flying in a local park. Some critics say power up is only good on paper. But I say it's not only good on paper. But also good on foam. Paper is really not the best material for building model planes. A paper plane changes its form easily. Say you have just had a good flight with your paper plane, you will not have the confidence that the plane will perform as well in the next flight. For example, a not so soft landing can distort the paper airframe and make the plane behave unpredictably in the next flight. And paper is very susceptible to water, which makes the problem even worse. In this video, I am going to introduce an easy to make, easy to fly foam plane. Since it looks like a pentagon, I call it pentaplane. It's made of one sheet of regular letter size printing paper. And one ten and a quarter inch foam plate. It is very durable and will probably outlast your interest in it. With it, you can easily repeat good flights. Fly it in humid weather. Fly it between rains. Fly it in the morning when the grass is wet. Yes, you can. Okay, now let's build this little plane. First, you need to print out this template. You can do a screen capture here and then print it out. Or, try to find the PDF file on the internet. I will provide a link to the file. Now we have the template printed out. Notice the top and bottom margins are very small. For the best result, the wingspan needs to be approximately 183 millimeters. Check to see if your template is sized right. If not, adjust accordingly, and print again. I find this can be easily done with a decent word processor. With the template in the right size, we can do the cutting part now. There are some small red color pentagons on the template. Inside each of them, there is either a number or a letter. They indicate the suggested cutting order. You don't have to follow the suggested cutting order. It's only a relatively logical and sensible order. Now, find the first line to cut. This line separates the part for the foam and the part for the paper components. Okay, save the part for foam cutting, let's work on the paper components. Now, cut the second line. The third line. The fourth. Now, cutting the upper mounting pieces. You basically cut all the black lines for they are the outlines of the components.
cutting the other upper mounting piece. Now, cut the slits of the upper mounting pieces. The slits are for the little tap next to the clip of the smart module. They will allow the tap to be able to slide in the groove of the mounting component. Now, one slit is cut. We can see through it. Do the same to the other upper mounting piece. Now, let's make the lower mounting pieces. To minimize the cuts that we have to do, we fold the paper first. Find the red central line on the piece. That's where the crease should be. The technique we are using here is using the ruler to make a precise fold. Align the edge of the ruler to the folding line and make the initial fold. Check and make the fold permanent. Then, reverse the folding to expose the outlines. Then, do the cutting. Then, two more folds to do with each of the lower mounting piece. Fold one side and then the other. Check if the folds are properly aligned and make them permanent. Like so, this lower mounting piece is now done. Next, do the same to the other lower mounting piece. Finally, we are going to cut the elevons. This should be easy because we only need to apply the same techniques used earlier. This cut doesn't need to be precise as long as it's close to the word pentaplane. As how we made the lower mounting pieces, we fold first and then cut. Now we only need to have four more cuts to finish the two elevons. Okay, 
the elevons are made. At this stage, we have finished making all the paper parts. They are ready for assembly. This video is getting too long, and so I have to end it here. This is my first time to make a how-to video. It took a lot of more effort than I had expected. I hope I have made everything clear. Please leave your comments and likes to help as well as encourage me to make my next video better. Thanks for watching.